Hello friends. Today in this video we are going to learn about a class and different types of classes. I mean main class, subordinate class, relative class, defining relative class, non-defining relative class, finite class and non-finite class. In this video, we learn about all in detail. First of all, what is a class? Class means a group of words with a subject and a predicate. It is a part of a sentence. Though it has meaning, but it doesn't have complete sense. It is not used in separately. It is a part of a sentence. These classes are two types. Main class and subordinate class. Main class is a group of words with subject and finite verb and it can stand by itself as a complete sentence. But sub subordinate class which contains a subject and a finite verb but it does not have complete thought depends on another class for complete meaning. It begins with subordinate conjunctions. What are the subordinate conjunctions? Some of the, some of the subordinate conjunctions are who, when, while, as, since, after, before, as soon as, because, no sooner than, or some of the subordinate conjunctions. These subordinate conjunctions are used with the subordinate clauses. With the main clauses, coordinate conjunctions are used. What are the coordinate conjunctions? Some are coordinate conjunctions are so, and, but, for, nor, or, yet. These are some of the coordinate conjunctions. These coordinate conjunctions used with main clauses. Subordinate conjunctions are used with the subordinate clauses. Coordinate conjunctions are used with the main clauses. And next, relative clauses. Relative clauses are two types. Defining relative class, non-defining relative class. First of all, what is a relative class? A relative class is a group of words with a subject and a predicate. This relative class gives more information about a noun. It describes about a noun or a pronoun. So, most of the relative clauses are adjective clauses because they modify noun or pronoun. For example, the boy who is suffering from fever is admitted in a hospital. In the sentence, who is suffering from fever is a 
relative class. The relative class begins with the who is a relative pronoun. Generally, relative classes are begin with relative pronouns or relative adverbs. Relative pronouns, for example, who, whose, who, these are the relative pronouns used for persons. Which is a relative pronoun used for things? That is a relative pronoun that is used either persons or things. And some of the relative clauses begin with relative adverbs where it describes place when describes time how describes reason so so many ad relative adverbs are there and next uh, this uh, relative clauses are uh, two types defining relative class non defining relative class so what is a defining relative class Defining relative class adds essential information to the sentence. It describes about particular person or particular thing we are talking about. This de defining relative class makes the sentence meaningful. It helps us understand easily. For example, my uncle who lives in India is a famous lawyer. In the sentence, who lives in India is a defining relative class. It defines the noun, my uncle. Here, the sentence describes that I have some uncles. All are not lawyers. Particularly, the uncle who lives in India is a lawyer. Some uncles, different areas living, but those uncles are not lawyers, only particularly which uncle lives in India is a lawyer. So here, the clause defines the subject. It is the essential information about the subject. And another example. The fruits which are kept in a basket are spoiled. In the sentence, which are kept in a basket is a defining relative class. It refers that all fruits are not spoiled. The fruits which are kept in a basket only spoiled. Some fruits are in freezer, some fruits are in a box, but uh, all are not spoiled, particularly which are kept in a basket are spoiled. So, it is a defining relative class. It defines the subject. And second one, non-defining relative class. Non-defining relative class does not define the subject. Non-defining relative class just adds extra information to the subject. 
you take a same example my uncle comma who lives in U in india is a famous lawyer here non defining relative clause is followed by a comma or a hyphen the sentence expresses that i have a uncle he lives in india he is a lawyer here we understand that i have only one uncle that uncle lives in india that uncle is a lawyer here giving the non defining relative clause gives extra information about the uncle if we remove the non defining relative clause the the sentence meaning should not be disturbed next what is a finite clause a finite clause which contains a finite verb and is subject it is called a finite clause a finite clause has tense and a number main clauses and subordinate clauses all are finite clauses only the last one non finite clause a non finite clause which is based on non finite verbs like uh, infinitive participle or gerund and they express meaning these non finite clauses do not have subject they do not have finite verbs just they function as adjuncts for example hearing the sound the baby woke up in the sentence hearing the sound is a non finite clause hearing is a present participle it hasn't a subject it hasn't a, a finite verb even though it has meaning it has meaning that is why it is named class non finite class another example having finished his work he went to bed in this sentence having finished his work is a non finite class he went to bed is a main class having finished here it is a used non finite means here perfect participle used perfect participle or present participle or infinitives or gerunds or non finitives they are not showing time they are not having subject so those are called non finite non finites non finite verbs uh, which uh, used in non finite clauses thank you